Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's May 13th, 2010. Well, this morning we're looking for uh, ideas, looking for help to uh, give us some direction here this morning. The the outside markets would suggest a lower opening. Uh, however, uh, grain markets are called higher since we had the uh, the close of the electronic trade here overnight. We're expecting things to open steady to uh, one to two higher in the grains pretty much across the board. Uh, the dollar, for instance, is down or up 36 here this morning. The crude's down 130. Gold slightly lower after a couple days of uh, sharp gains there. Uh, still uh, got the June contract near that 1250 area, which it would be uh, new highs if we can break through that here today. The uh, corn market specifically, the heavy rains across the corn belt. Uh, traders are looking at rain makes grain but uh, when you get two to three inches like we've got in the a lot of the northern areas here it's going to uh, cause some drowned out areas and cause a few problems in uh, in growth uh, potential here in the corn however we do have uh, a forecast for warmer temperatures uh, into uh, uh, the end of this week and uh, the beginning of next week some drying out and the uh, the opportunity to get some more field work done. China did confirm that they bought six cargoes of corn, uh, somewhere in the 300 to 350,000 uh, metric ton uh, capacity, and it says that uh, reports that they've bought as many as 15 cargoes of corn already since uh, late April. This uh, their the problem China is having is the uh, controlling the price of corn in China and the speculation of uh, buyers of uh, Chinese government corn that they're selling locally, they're saying now that uh, their, the corn coming out of their reserve can only be sold to uh, feed mill companies and it has to be processed locally within one month, which uh, certainly gives the indication that they've got some tight uh, corn supplies over there and would also uh, give the indication that they're going to be back in for some more corn uh, here uh, before you know it and maybe as early as next week. The uh, corn technically we've got uh, resistance in the July contract at 380 and then again at 385 today uh, with support around 374 and a half and 370 is the next level of support. In the soybeans, uh, planning delays is what's being talked about. Uh, however, look, using USDA's report uh, from uh, earlier this week, uh, the supply demand situation, we're going to have huge ending stocks in soybeans and uh, traders aren't too concerned about planning delays at this point in time. Uh, Bean market as well as wheat has taken the lead from the corn market here recently, and uh, uh, with the uh, bit of a setback yesterday, we've got technical support today around 960 in the July contract, with uh, resistance at 976, and then again at 980. We need a close above 980 in the July to get uh, the bulls fired up and take this market higher. Uh, in the wheat market, uh, that market's got fund selling. Yesterday, the funds were in selling around 2,000 contracts, caused some pressure in the wheat, uh, put uh, a lot of pressure in it uh, for a period of time, and uh, also taking its lead from the corn market as well. The um, technical uh, support today, 489, and then again at 480 in the July. Five dollars and five oh eight and a half, and then that five seventeen is a critical number. If we can close above that five seventeen in the July, is what we need to really move that market higher. But we're fighting some huge seasonals there as we go into uh, potential harvest here in the south. Uh, as soon as weather uh, dries out a little bit, we'll uh, be starting to harvest some wheat down in the southern uh, U.S. Uh, we did have export sales this morning. Kind of a yawner. The corn neutral at 940,000 tons. Uh, soybeans at 475. They were looking for about 500 to 800 there, so uh, a little bit uh, on the uh, negative side for for prices. And wheat was a little bit friendly. They were looking for anywhere from 150 to 450, and it came out uh, around 516. So uh, uh, a bit friendly on the wheat. 
don't think it'll have much impact on the the opening here this morning. In the livestock, we've got cash cattle did trade in the south yesterday at a hundred dollars. Uh, they pack or the feedlots wanted 101 to 102. They didn't get that done, but in the Corn Belt area in Nebraska, we did get a trade up in that 162 to 163 area. So uh, some positive trade there. The problem we've got in the cattle right now is this uh, product appears to have topped. We're down 35 cents in the choice. Uh, select was up four cents, but it had several days down before this. It looks like we're uh, pretty well complete on Memorial Day uh, purchases. There may be some fill-in buying here next week, but uh, appears to uh, to be uh, pretty well set. Technically, the market uh, kind of rolled over yesterday. We've seen the nearby contracts sell off. Uh, feeder cattle, I think, is a a uh, commodity that usually leads this cattle market around. And a key number that watch there is this 114 area in the August feeders. If we take that out, close below 114 in the August feeders, uh, we certainly uh, would appear to have a trend change uh, in the making. So something to uh, watch for there. In the hogs, uh, cash market's firmer today. It uh, looks like packers need to get some hogs bought uh, for uh, next week's kill already. Uh, the packers' margins are in the black. Product is stronger. We put 59 cents on the product yesterday. And the technicals in the hogs look very positive. We closed the, the June hogs right up against the, some uh, horizontal resistance on the charts. Uh, things look pretty positive there. I think we'll have to... Uh, uh, watch the uh, the outside markets here and see how they uh, uh, affect the uh, uh, the hog trade here today. But uh, early calls uh, in the electronic trade are mixed to uh, slightly lower in both cattle and hogs here this morning. So if you got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. We wish you a successful trading day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow morning.